events and issues shaping our community. This is Comcast Newsmakers. You might be seeing a Dora the Explorer or a Clifford the Red Dog behind me as we come to you from the plaza of the state capitol. We're right on the steps of the old capitol building and the other state capitol is right next to us where everybody meets and is meeting. Uh, and we're talking about different types of children's issues during this Comcast Newsmakers. Representative Matt Hudson from District 101. That's part Broward County, part Collier County, County is our guest this hour. And thanks very much. Now you're a vice chair of the one of the major child uh, programs here in Tallahassee, right? Yeah, I'm vice chair of the Health and Family Services Policy Council in the House. It's uh, it's, it's an interesting place to be right now. So I'm sure I'm sure a lot of these people have come seen you the last couple of days. <laughs> there has been a pretty consistent stream of folks coming through my office. That's for you know, sure. You know, we're looking back here, and I we're making comments. I've never seen this many kids here. This is like. Uh, uh, like a big field day for many of them, I guess. It really is. I, I was with some of them in the elevator coming down. They had their faces <laughs> painted and all that. But then I was with some older students earlier that were advocating on certain issues, and their involvement in what we do here is extraordinarily important. Civics is a big uh, linchpin with you, and uh, being in the position you are, you're sponsoring a bill that really deals with youth and civics education. I am indeed. Myself and Representative Charles McBurney from the Jacksonville area, we've teamed up to uh, uh, create House Bill 105, which is the Sandra Day O'Connor uh, Civics Education Act. I'm happy to say that it has, it has already passed through the Florida House. It's waiting on the Senate to act now, but it would require that our middle school students uh, get civics education so that they understand the fundamental tenets of our society, the three branches of government, uh, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, things that you would like to think are being taught in our school today as a but requirement, but are not. And this is fundamentally important that our students graduate and go on to vote, go on to military service, go on to their life, and have a good foundation from what to uh, what to build upon. Is that one of the things that kind of got left out when the, uh, when the budgets got started getting cut for education? Is civics education? No, actually no. This has been absent for a very, very long time. We've tried for a number of years to get this in place, and uh, it looks like this year might be the year, and I'm, I, I think it's just, it's important to our society. If we don't educate our children onto the important fundamentals of our society, how can we expect our republic to survive? Let me ask you, when a blitz like this happens and all these child advocate organizations come up to Tallahassee, does it make a difference in the way you take a look at different types of children's bills? Uh, without question. You know, I think that when people are passionate about an issue and they share their passion with you, they bring in insight and they bring uh, a perspective that, you know what, might be different than mine. I might be focused on this issue or that issue, and all of a sudden you might come to me and say, hey, this is important to me, and let me tell you why. This is how it impacts me and my family and my neighborhood, my community, my, my school, whatever it might be. And that's important that people do that. When people take the, the opportunity to engage themselves in this process, I think the policy is better, and I think the process is better, quite frankly. It's, it's, we can't do things in a vacuum, and having this open discussion and having so many wonderful kids here to discuss about issues is great. I, just before I came down here, a group of young ladies from the March of Dimes walked in. They were the high school students, and they came in and said how important it was to fight for issues regarding uh, babies and, and developmental children and so forth. And I thought, you know what? That's amazing that these young people would take the time to be able to do that. That's impressive. It really is. It really it's is. important. Um, being in the position you're in right now, is it kind of frustrating and at the same time uh, satisfying? Because you can do some good here, but you can't really solve all the problems. Well, I don't think you, you, you ever solve all the problems. Uh, if uh, I think that probably stopped uh, somewhere about the bite at the first apple, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, but the reality is I think we, we've got a tremendous opportunity right now this year to be able to make some systemic change to make some long-term differences in the state of Florida. I believe we're doing that through some of our um, initiatives with Medicaid reform, through um, Department of Health reorganization, through a number of different things that will provide some long-term change to Florida that ultimately will solve some of these budget challenges as we move forward for other issues. Okay, thank you so much. This hour's newsmaker has been Representative Matt Hudson from District 101. I'm Spiro Canton on Comcast Newsmakers, and we're here on the plaza of the state capitol during Children's Week. Lots of fun going on behind me. Thanks for joining us.